You ever see this image? It's bizarre, right? You and I have definitely come across some bizarre images online over the years. Some became local legends, others memes, and yet more became creepypastas. This one belongs to the very small group of online memes based in reality. That reality being a naturally occurring mutation, resulting in a disorder which messed up the development of a shark pup. There's a lot more to it than just the photo, so come on, let's figure it out. The 2000s and 2010s were a wild time of worthathousand.com, real fake news, and all sorts of unchecked power when it came to manipulating visual media. Goatman, The Rake, Slenderman, and many more were slip sliding around the internet with some people tricked into believing them real, and others well aware of the tools of the trade used to make them. This hasn't changed of course, but people have become much better at sniffing out a hoax. The internet is no longer new. A whole generation of people have grown up with it, and a new one is already on the horizon. One such internet hoax is entirely based in fact. This image has made plenty of rounds around the internet since 2011. It seems to show a white-skinned, one-eyed shark. It was discovered in 2011 by commercial fisherman Enrique Lucero Leon in the Gulf of California in the belly of a pregnant adult dusky shark. National Geographic promptly dubbed it the One Eye Anomaly, and it quickly became a sensation. It was rather common on old YouTube compilations of cryptids, photoshopped images of chimeric beasts, and other oddities. This was not the first time something like this had been found, and it wouldn't be the last, but it was the first one to go viral. To prove the validity of the images and the specimen, and to just figure out what the hell it was, Enrique took the critter to National Geographic scientists. Those researchers found the individual did indeed have one eye smack dab in the middle of its face, was missing its nostrils, and had no pigmentation in its skin. The eye had functional optical tissue, but the pup was unlikely to have survived long, if at all, outside the mother's womb. What this shark suffered from was an extremely rare congenital disorder called cyclopia. Cyclopia, as the name suggests, typically results in a fetus in which the genetic code fails to tell the body to divide the eye sockets in two. This can result in a singular eye or a fused double eye. The disorder can also come with a bunch of other problems involving the respiratory tract, and most fetuses die in the womb or shortly after birth. As such, it's actually not that weird for the shark fetus to have no nostrils and no pigmentation in its skin a disorder called albinism. Another very similar fetus was discovered by commercial fishermen in October of 2020 in the waters of Maluku province, Indonesia. Like the 2011 specimen, this new one was found inside a pregnant adult among normal looking pups. Also like the older find, the fisherman was smart enough to turn in the specimen to the local marine office so its credibility could be determined. The first fetus was from a dusky shark, but this one is from a bull shark. We're not done here though, as another messed up shark fetus was found a year later. This little guy was found in 2021 by fisherman Abdullah Nuran, yet again inside its mother. This one is a little different from the others in having two eyes, but they're in the same wrong spot in the front of the face. Curator of the Florida Museum of Natural History, Davin Naylor, thinks the eyes might be the nasal capsules which haven't closed over yet. I don't want to assume I know better than the experts, but those things have whites and pupils just like the singular eye of the other finds. Research professor at the University of Miami, Neil Hammerschlag, figured the images might be fake, but if they do depict a real shark fetus, the eyes in the front of the head might be a result of cyclopia as well. Just not as extreme a case as the true cyclopic fetuses of past years. That about solves the mystery. Yes, they're real, and yes, they die pretty quickly. It's unfortunate, but it's nature, and she ain't always pretty. Just be thankful I didn't show you any human forms of cyclopia, because that's some nasty stuff. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, hit the bell icon for updates, like this video, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to my elephant tier patrons, Thea Svensson, Staniforth Hopkins, 
Dinosaur, and Arda Bayer, as well as my Tyrannosaurus tier patrons, Henry Brennan, Danny Van Heck, Dana Manchester, Chris Frampton, and Admin.